Hi there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you're having a great one. We have a huge update for the Louis Vuitton Christmas animations for 2022. In this video, I will be sharing with you pre-order as well as launch dates, new photos, all the confirmed items we know about for each of the four cities, as well as prices. And at the end of the video, I will share with you the top three pieces that are the best value for your money from this collection, as well as the three pieces that are the worst value for your money. And to be honest, I was shocked by the results. Before we get into the photos and all the eye candy of this collection, I wanted to share this chart that you can screenshot. These are all of the items in the Christmas animation collection for 2022 that have been confirmed so far as of September 20th. I'm not sure if additional items will be announced in the future, but these are the ones that we know of that have been confirmed by Louis Vuitton as of September 20th. And for there's 14 different items. Two of them are silks and the rest are all small leather goods. And to read this chart, let's look at the Felici Pochette, the third row down. Uh, the style is the Felici Pochette. The canvas is monogram canvas and it's available in two different prints, Paris as well as New York City. So two different prints, they're both on monogram canvas and the prices are all in US dollars. The Felici Pochette will be 1600 as part of this collection. So take a screenshot, look over all the items that are available. And what we'll do is go city by city and look at all of the items that have been confirmed so far and go over all the prices. Um, but before we get into that, let's take a really quick look at the silks that have been released for all of the cities. And these are brand new images that were just released this past weekend. I don't have prices yet, but we do have images. So there will be a silk square, and this personally I absolutely love. The centerpiece is the Paris Vendome print, and then around the border we have Vivienne at the three other cities featured in this collection. New York City Soho, Seoul Korea, and Tokyo Ginza. So I don't have the size or the price, but this will be included in the collection. There will also be four bandeaus, one for each city. So left to right, we have Tokyo Ginza, Seoul Korea, um, Paris, France, and then New York City. And these are all silk bandeaus. They're normally priced at 220 dollars each. We don't have prices yet for the Christmas collection, so I will update that as soon as we have information. Now let's go city by city. There have been eight items so far confirmed for Paris Vendome. In addition to the silks, there's the Felici Pochette. As I said earlier, this is $1,600. The mini pochette accessoire has been confirmed for $815. And again, the accent color on all of these pieces for Paris is Rose Ballerine. Here we have the passport holder and there's images of the front and back. The interior is pink. This has been confirmed at $415. There will also be the Victorine wallet, confirmed at $650. The Zippy wallet, if you like a larger wallet, will be $965. And here you can see the interior. And as you can see on all of these screenshots, all these photos are from the Louis Vuitton stylist. If you want Damier Abin, there's only two items confirmed both for the Paris collection, the Sarah wallet, as well as the Zippy coin purse, and you can see prices on screen. Now moving on to New York City, there are only four items confirmed for New York City. I'm really hoping more will be added, but we have the bandeau that we saw earlier, 
the Felici pochette, which again is $1,600. The passport cover, here you can see the front and back. And this is also $415, same as in the Paris print. And then we have the Zippy coin purse, which has been confirmed at $550. The next city we have is Seoul. And again, only four items confirmed for Seoul, including the bandeau that we saw earlier. We have the additionally the card holder at $325. This is the only card holder we have confirmed in this collection so far. There's also the Victorine wallet at $650. And the mini pochette accessoire is also available for Seoul at $815. Tokyo has the least amount of items confirmed so far, only three. There is the bandeau that we saw earlier. Again, the mini pochette accessoire at $815 and the round coin purse at $745. This is the only coin purse for a city that we've seen so far. Now, there's also additional accessories that we're still waiting on confirmation from, and I'll show you what we have so far. We're waiting for more information on the key pouch. The price is $380. There's been an unofficial photo released of this in the Paris print. However, please keep in mind this is unofficial. It looks like there will also be another Sarah wallet in either another canvas or city print. There will also be a zippy wallet. Looks like possibly in the Tokyo print, but that's unconfirmed. And the Vivian coin purse, we have the price confirmed at $785. It is so steep, but it's certainly a collector's piece. This is what the coin purse will look like. Again, this is an unofficial photo that's been leaked on the internet. It is available out there, so I thought I would put it again in this video. I'm not the person leaking it. Um, but this is super, super cute. And again, I just wanted to share what the silks will look like. These were from the Vuitton stylist on Instagram, who is a Louis Vuitton client advisor based in New York City. She shared these photos. I don't have prices yet for the bandos or the silk square. I don't know how large it is. Now, let's get into the top three best priced items. I was really shocked by one of these items, and I think you will be too. So number one is the Felici Pochette. This is regularly available in Canvas for $1,490. In the Christmas animation, it's only $1,600, which is a, uh, what is it, like $110 markup. It's only 7% higher than the normal price. So this is actually the best value for your money. Ne the next two items are tied. We have number one, the Zippy coin purse, regularly $505 in canvas. With the Christmas animation, it's $555. So an additional $50, that's only a 9% markup over the regular price. So this is a really great value for your money if you want a piece of this collection. And this is the shocker. I know it will be controversial. The mini pochette accessoire is actually really well priced. It's regularly $745, and in this collection, it's $815. I know a lot of people will not like the price because it's now over $800, and I'm not to say this is worth $800 or not, but compared to the normal price of a canvas mini pochette, it's only a 9% markup, so that makes it one of the top three best value for your money pieces in this collection. Comment below and let me know what you think about that. I think, I was shocked, let me know what you think. Now let's get into the top three worst priced items. And these are the items that have the highest markup 
as compared to the regular canvas versions of these items. Number one is actually ranking in third is the Sarah wallet. This is a 15% markup over the normal price in canvas, which is $720. However, this is one of only two pieces we've seen confirmed in Damier Bean Canvas. So if you want a Paris print and if you want something in Damier Bean, again, this is one of your very few options, but it is one of the worst priced items. Tied with the Sarah wallet is the key pouch. Again, you may be tempted by this item. I know I am because this is the first time I, for one, recall seeing the key pouch in a Christmas animation. This is unconfirmed in the Paris print. Um, but again, it's a 15% markup, which is on the higher end. It's $55 higher than the normal price for the key pouch. And finally, the number one worst priced item is also the least expensive item. It's the card holder, and it's a 20% markup over the regular price of $265. In Christmas animation, it's an additional $60 at $325. But again, it's the only card holder we've seen in this collection, and it's one of the few items we've seen for Soul. And finally, we'll talk launch dates as well as pre-order dates. While I do that, I'll put up this chart again for you to look at. If you like this sort of chart and it's helpful, comment below and let me know because then I will do this type of chart in future videos on new Louis Vuitton collections. So let me know and make sure you're subscribed to check videos on future collections. Now for the launch date, According to Foxy LV on Instagram, it will launch on October 28th in the United States and two weeks earlier on October 14th in the EU. However, pre-orders are expected to open this week, the week of September 19th. So if you are interested in any of these items, definitely reach out to your client advisor as soon as possible to get your pre-order in. That's all the new information that I have for this week. If you know of anything else, comment below and let us know, share that information. And if I get any further updates, I will include those in a pinned comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.